Hello and welcome to this quick tips video which is about the options you have in terms of opening up editors. Now I appreciate that some people will already know this but quite a few people don't and those I've shown it to that it's bothered have been incredibly happy about it and treated it as if it's the magic of the Wookiee Hole Witch. So that's nice. So let's have a look. The, the issue is that the default now, if you double click a part and open it up, is that it ends up in the bottom zone. So it ends up in the lower zone of the window, which is, it's not something that I particularly like. Now, you hopefully know that you can press this to open it up in a separate window, and then you get the separate window, which is like the old school floating editor window, and you can close that. You can use a keyboard shortcut, which is Alt-Command-E or Alt-Control-E, and that closes that. But you don't have to live like that anymore, okay? You may already know that you can open it up directly from the menu because that's a preference which is there. But if you go to Preferences, which is under Edit and Preferences on Windows, and Cubase and Preferences here, if you go to Editors, you can change it here. So the default is double click opens editors in lower zone, which isn't what I like. I prefer it to open in a window. So just change it to that. Click OK. And then now when we double click this, it opens up in a floating window. If for whatever reason you want to get it back in the lower zone, you can just press that button and then it will be back down there. That's your quick tip for today. Hopefully you found that useful and we'll see you again soon.